This is going to be a pretty important lesson and it's going to sound to most people like it's too simple to even pay attention to, but it's extremely important and it has to do with a number of things. One is that people forget to follow any kind of sequence in training. They just, oh, let's try this. Oh, let's try that. And one of the um, most important phases of fundamental training is the single T. That's where they learn to go, stop, cast, etc. That's where all your problems develop, flaring and no-goes and not stopping and popping and all kind of things happen during single T. So single T cannot be overrated. I mean, it's very important. So how does single T begin? It begins by fetching to a pile. That pile becomes the back pile of single T. So what do a lot of people do when they're beginning single T? They get a pile of bumpers, throw them out there, and go back and think they're going to start fetch to a pile. But in my experience, about 60% of those dogs aren't ready for that because they can't even fetch one bumper at five feet correctly. So I'm gonna go through the drill that I use to determine whether a dog's ready for single T. So step one, night, heel, sit. Sit, heel, heel, sit. Step one is to say, can you fetch a single bumper with what you would call pressure, which is fetch, nick, fetch, which would be a miniature version of back, burn, back, fetch to a pile. So if they can't do that at 10 feet, they're not gonna be able to do it at 50 yards. So step one, here, sit, is to throw a bumper out there and the, the dog to be ready for a pile needs to pick that up with a nick, hold it in his mouth, come back and sit at heel. It, I hope it looks like it's supposed to look. Ready? Fetch, good, heel, heel, sit, sit, fetch, sit, hold, good, hold. So when they can do that, you can say, oh, he's kind of ready, but let's do the drill. Three little bumpers, sit or in this case, three big bumpers. Heel. Sit. Fetch. Good. Here. Heel. Heel. Sit. Out. Heel. Here. Sit. Fetch. Good. Heel. Sit. He sit. Fetch. Here. Hold. Sit. Heel, sit, 
fetch. Good. Heal. Sit. Hold. Hold. Good. Good boy. Out. Sit. So that is the beginning of discovering whether a dog is ready to begin the first part of single T, which is fetch to a pile. So sit. After they've done the three bumper fetch drill, then you put a miniature pile. What you're trying to discover is if you need more work somewhere before you begin single T. And if you do, that's, this is the time to do it. Not after you've got a bunch of problems developed because you weren't ready to do single T. Now, what, what are the things that you might discover right now that you need work on before you can begin single T? What about you say fetch and they don't, they don't fetch. They just sit there. That's called a no-go. Or they go and they stand and look at you like, hey, what am I supposed to do? Or they pick up a bumper and drop it and pick up a different bumper. Something like that. Sit. So now that we've got a miniature pile, sit. Back. Good. Hold. Hold. Out. Sit. Fetch. Good. Heel. Sit. Hold. 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 Good. Out. Now let's say that you have a two-sided dog. This is a good time to to work on that as well because what what you don't want to do is have a two-sided dog that you only run on one side. A lot of people do that and they realize, oh, I'm, I haven't been working hard enough on the right side. Well, <clears throat> then you don't have a two-sided dog. A two-sided dog is one that runs equally well and comes to either side. So let's just make sure that's in place. Sit. So I'll bring him back on my right side. Sit. Ready? Fetch. Good. Hold. Sit. Hold. Out. Sit. So this dog is ready for fetch to a pile. Then we're going to back up and we're going to begin single T. But the point of this is don't jump into any kind of training, not just on single T or any type of uh, multiple marks or anything, until there's some foundation to begin the work. Otherwise, what happens is you get frustrated, you start screaming, you start using the electric collar incorrectly, you do things that is not in keeping with your own personality or the best way to train dogs, which is teaching, not frustration, pressure, torture, et cetera, et cetera. So, by the way, hang on with me because I've got a really good message coming up. Then I heard what sounded like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing waters and like loud peals of thunder, shouting, Alleluia, for our Lord God Almighty reigns.